Hi everybody, I'm Blaine Tyler. I come to you again from Northeastern Ontario. Okay, so today's video is about Paul Freeman. And um, I posted a little uh, article about this on my Facebook uh, page and it got in a little bit of a scrap there, you know what I mean? Um, I said, you know, he's not being uh, remembered um, for what he did. And uh, then we got in, got into the political kind of stuff, what's going on, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, so basically, um, Freeman, uh, what in the early '90s, uh, films the Sasquatch crossing a path, Juby running up, getting on shoulder, goes through a bush, and then it fades out. Um, he also filmed other ones in the footage. And, you know, it's not a high quality footage. Back then, cameras were expensive, but people were like, well, it's kind of distorted. And, yeah, well, if you got five grand to drop on a, a camera back in the 90s, I remember just buying a still shot camera or a Polaroid was a few hundred dollars. So, anyway, um, great footage for its time. And here's the other point no one got anything since Roger Patterson. Anything. Not Burns, not DeHinden, Green, anybody else. Nothing. Not even the people doing the big uh, TV shows at the time, Autumn Williams and stuff like that. Nobody had anything even remotely close to the PGF. So anyway, okay, so uh, um, Paul Freeman gets this footage. And actually, it was the second footage. He said he came forward and said he had seen one, and then he filmed one, I think, at the back of a field, a little crappy little footage of, like, two seconds. And um, and I, I'm going to go into that now, and I'm going to show you some pictures, and um, I'm going to talk about some of the politics and Bigfooting now. And I think this is where we went astray uh, if we use Paul Freeman as a marker. So I'm going to go with some pictures now. Right, so here's the famous still from the Freeman footage. The Bigfoot decides to cross into the open so a little juvie can climb up its back. And there's other Bigfoot in that footage if you know how to spot them and if you got trained eyes. Um, now here's the political part of it. Um, Bob Titmus, uh, pretty well known Bigfoot researcher back in the day, uh, he said Freeman was uh, an attention seeker. And I think also Peter Burns said something similar, a publicity a hound or something like that it's Freeman looking for attention and also Rene DeHinden said that I don't know if uh, John Green ever said that but here's the funny thing about that these guys all working together in a little group four horsemen never seen a Bigfoot never filmed one I think they got some casts where this guy here seen them two or three times filmed them at least twice and got casts and got prints and got handprints. Well, those other guys though, and here he's at a mall trying to drum up attention for Bigfoot. Those other guys though were always in front of the camera and always in front of the mic. That's really strange. It's kind of like the pot calling the kettle black. So here's Freeman out in front of a Bigfoot conference, a real live Bigfoot researcher, successful researcher, hand print and footage out in the parking lot. And this guy here, Dr. Grants, found dermal ridges on Freeman's prints and said these are really uh, important to the Bigfoot research field. That's funny how that worked, eh? An unknown independent gets the job done and is smeared as a hoaxer or attention seeker. And I think I remember um, at least the Hinden showing up to try and bask in some of the spotlight that Freeman was getting. Now, I'm not taking anything away from Burns, DeHinden, Titmus. Uh, they contributed a lot back in the golden era. But when you consider what's going on today, you got, I call, um, posers. They do a little bit of Bigfoot research and then rush on to get on the podcast and everything to promote themselves. And not only do they promote themselves, their biggest fear is a real field researcher filming another clip like Freeman or Patterson and then it goes national and they jump right over all these posers I guess some of these guys are just entertainers and they become more popular than everybody else and that's what they're afraid of so they constantly troll field researchers trying to keep us out of the spotlight because that's what they're trying to do they're in it for the spotlight 
Oh, and if you think um, Freeman was in for the spotlight, uh, he received death threats at home, he lost his job, he had to pull his kids out of school and move to another state. So eventually he moved back to Washington, went into the blues, found a bunch of trackways and filmed that footage. And I got a little clip coming up. And the prints were so impressive with dermal ridges and everything that Dr. Meldrum here uh, bought his entire collection. Awesome. Okay, so the female here uh, that Freeman tracked back into the bush where she was hiding decided to make a dash out so a little juvie could climb up its back and then it went back into cover and then Freeman was pinned down for hours uh, at Sasquatch screaming at him because there were other Sasquatch close by that he never even knew about. Okay, so here's Dr. Bendernagel, uh, late great Dr. B. Um, he talked about uh, the culture needing to change and I'm going to add that the political uh, scene needs to change. In my opinion we got the wrong people driving a bus. That's why we're not going forward. We got people seeking fame and maybe even perhaps money and not pushing the knowledge and science end of it as a priority. Right, so you may wonder why I'm bringing this all up. Well, 15 years ago last month, Paul Freeman passed away and no one's remembered him in any significant way. No conferences, no memorials, no uh, documentaries, nothing. And you consider all the attention the PGF gets, I think this man deserves something. Okay, so that's it for this vid. Um, yeah, I would have done something sooner, but I was battling my own uh, medical stuff and going in for repairs. Actually, a week today, and I'm, I don't know how long I'll be laid up for after that. Get in there, get repaired, and come back. And um, it's okay. The springs all, the trails are all flooded and everything anyway. So and maybe it's a good time to get some repairs. Um, anyway, uh, hit the like button, hit the share button, comment respectfully down below if you're a-hole troll and you'll get your butt kicked out pretty fast um, and I recently post my first uh, patreon vid about the howler uh, juvie howler which is awesome audio so uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon